Welcome to the lecture on PHP escaping characters. So we have seen white spaces and we have seen the white spaces are not printed on the HTML page. And now if you want to print the white spaces, so you have to understand the escaping character sequence. So if you open up this folder in the materials, you will find the deliverables file and the logical flow example. I'm going to talk about this file later. We're going to develop how to display and character escaping characters in console. We're going to print those console escaping characters. Then we'll print the escaping characters in the HTML page. Well, a part of this, we will create two PHP programs and those programs are available in the after folder. Okay. So let's go ahead and quickly create these files. Control N, Control S, Control V. And I'm going to change this to language folder. Okay, I'm going to save it here. So the file will appear here. Okay, so what are the escape characters in the console? So let's So I'm going to remove this just to make sure and I'm repeating it this that if you are not using any other code apart from PHP, you don't need the closing tag. Okay. I may repeat it again and again sometimes just to make sure you get this concept clear because that's basically the good coding standards from PHP. These are the multi-line comments if you remember that. So I'm going to show you what are the escaping characters in console. First is slash n. This is the backslash. Okay. You have to have a backslash and notation n. This is called as new line. Then you have carriage written. slash t is a tab if you want to have a tab then you have to say slash t then you have a special character called dollar we haven't covered variables and constants so when you go to the section on variable and constants you will understand what is the value of the dollar so even if you want to print the dollar then you have to say backslash and dollar okay then you have single quotes And you have double quotes okay and if you want to print the backslash then you can print two okay this means escaping this call this clash is called as escaping character okay So let's use this and print some text. So let's say echo this isn't print and let's say I want to use double quotes here. Okay, not possible. This is not possible because you cannot write double quotes inside the double quote. So what we can do, you can put a slash here. Okay. Next, let's say you want to print a new line. So I'll say new line. This is printed on new line. Then next, let's use again a new line just to see how two new lines look at the output and then we'll add a tab we have a tab to say slash t slash t here and then say we'll slash in okay so we have tabs there two tabs then we'll say this is a okay special so we'll say special character inside the not really a special character but really having a special meaning of the escape characters okay so that's all for this example let's run this code on the console so i'm going to open command prompt go to language folder and say php 
escape characters in console so i'm running this program and if you're seeing the program we'll see compare the output now okay so you see we have new lines here and a care is written then we have a space here that's basically coming up from the tab and then we have the double quotes being printed double quotes here double quotes here so what happens if i change this to single quote and i want this to be single quote right let's execute this okay even though right so it's escaping the single quote and i'm gonna say let's let's remove this new line we put the new line here okay let's execute this okay so there's one thing that you have to be careful with is if you're using single quotes whatever is inside this single code the escape characters are not converted means they are not rendered in the output so it is going to treat anything that is inside the single code as a simple text okay so make sure when you want to print the escape characters it is in double quotes not in single quotes okay so that's why you see the slash n is printed instead of a new line because we are using single quotes if you want that new lines to be converted you have to convert this into a double quote okay so remember that's rule and we're going to start doing the next example so we're going to use the escape characters in html so before that so let's verify how this file looks like in the html so i'm going to show you this output and the html output obviously the html doesn't understand all those slashes and slash r and if you see the page source you still see the tab you still see the new line you still see the carriage written but the output doesn't really care because output of html and as per html standard it ignores all the white spaces slash in slash r's and all the things that you put in the html page so in the next sample we're going to see how to deal with this okay so let's start writing the second sample so i'm going to create this file let's copy over this thing okay and we're going to say new line in html is br okay carriage return can say br this is called as ampersand nbsp semicolon and you can use double quotes which anyway will be printed right the main important thing is basically how do you put a tab and how do you enter a new line okay so let's do that in the new line it doesn't matter single code or double code as of now because anyway those will be printed as part of our output in the html and html will take care of those brs here you say ampersand in bsp semicolon bsp right we have a tab here okay so this file will be available for you to verify this is in the after folder and you know how to print your single quotes you know how to print a new line carriage return and then you know how to print a space it's not a tab but it's basically a space so using space you create the tabs there and if you verify the output you're gonna see those characters you're not gonna see the output that you saw in the console but you're going to see the characters because html understand the html code so you have to convert that into an html code so that it looks exactly like same of what you have seen in the console okay so that's all for this lecture and i hope you have understood how to work with the escape characters okay all right i'll see you in the next lecture